necessary, right? Yes. Cool. Um, I love you. Oh, thanks. Okay. Hi, I'm Jordan Peterson, and I'm from Burke. Words are hard! You can't tell me that my scars aren't exquisite as they trace the story of my life in an elegant map on my body. You can't tell me that my stretch marks aren't graceful as they seem like squiggling caterpillars racing towards an unconventional finish line. You can't tell me that my freckles aren't divine as they anoint the back of my neck in stunning constellations. Wait. I'm sorry, did I say can't? Because I meant can. You can and do tell me these things. You don't. Well, every one of the 13 Victoria's Secret advertisements, every one of the 36 commercials on TV, every one of the 29 glares I have received in the past two days say otherwise. They slither their way into my brain like serpents and plant the idea in my head that somehow, in some way, I am not good enough. I am trapped in my body. I am trapped in your perception of my body. Women are expected to dress to these expectations, but when we do, we are criticized, assaulted, labeled sluts or whores, and they say, what were you wearing? I wore what society told me to. Women are expected to be compassionate, but when we are, we are criticized and mocked and labeled emotional, and they say, why don't you trust me? How can I? How can I trust anyone when sexist comments manage to snake their way into every conversation? We are not all born fighters, some of us not meant for the ring. I take to the ring, but my body is made of glass. I land a punch, maybe two, and just when I think I might have a chance, you shatter a part of me and another, and every piece of me that you break, you smash, leaves me fractured, so when I see myself, I can only see broken pieces. But I am telling you now, you can pummel me until my fragments are finer than sand, but I guarantee that no matter what you make me think of myself, I will never allow you to do that to someone else. The female body was perfect at creation, and somehow in this age, in this nation, being a woman is a downright embarrassment, unless you have a tiny waist in comparison. So on behalf of it, women anywhere, I respectfully disagree with these unrealistic, inappropriate, impossible standards. Because of these standards, the female body is slandered. I know good men are out there. I see them every day. They're my dad, my friends. They keep my anger at bay. When someone comes up, says something offensive, they hold me back when I start to get defensive. I'm not saying all men are misogynistic pricks who think they're better than me because they happen to have. I'm saying that you're not better than me because of a Y chromosome. Do not brag to me about higher levels of testosterone. I will not surrender and I will not stand down. I remain armed, aimed, and ready. Shoot me with the ammo you have. I remain steady until women stop being objects from the moment of their birth and become people, humans, aware that above all they have worth. So guys, keep your opinions, all your beliefs. There you go, you're safe. Breathe your sigh of relief. You can have your opinions. Expect no resistance from me, as long as you don't insult my existence. Yeah.